Greeting, this is Ahmad from Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about some Excel formula. As you see, first of all, we want to talk about substitute, then we go to the if error and if and a. But let's start with substitute. Substitute helps us to to make a change with some character in our database. For instance, if I want to use this formula, I should use substitute. For the first change, I want to only replace the first E to CC. So I should select the text and I want to replace the E, the first E to CC. And as you see, all of the C is replaced. But if I want to limit it to the first one, I only need to write the one. And if I want to expand the formula to the all of these, as you see, only the first E replaced with CC. But the next order is change the second E to the CC. So I use the substitute again. Select the text. I want to replace E with CC. But the second one. If you repeat the character in your main take more than one, you need to obtain which one should be changed. So, as you see, I keep the first E and replace the second E to the CC. According to this instruction. That's all about substitute. But let's to continue with if or and if and a. In previous lesson, we talk about if in combination with is error, but this is very long formula. And if you want to decrease this formula, you can use if error instead of using the whole if formula. And, and if the value is faced with error, I need to only write, need to check with reference database. That's it. My database updated, but Compare these two formula together. This is combination of if, is error, and VLOOKUP, but this is only combination of if error and VLOOKUP. This if error include is error two. So with a short for shorter formula, I can do my job. Let's to compare these two formula together. Okay, and what's about if and a? The last one is if and a. If and a operation is same as a if error. If I use if and a, the result would be same. But this is a specific for an A error, and that one is a specific on error. As you see, this is very useful formula if you want to control your NA error in your database and replace the error message instead of NA with a specific message. Keep in touch with Global Project Control for further tutorial material. Thank you for watching us. 
I hope this lesson would be useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can follow my hashtag Global Project Control in order to find all of my lesson in the same page. Thank you for your subscription in my channel.